Let's do some Python on hardware newsletter time. Lena. Yes. This week, what is interesting for you in the newsletter? Okay. I mean, I read the whole thing. So first off, there were some cool books, actually. Can you scroll down? Yeah. Um, so there's extension. Oh, sorry. Actually, two things that were kind of cool. Um, one, the online CircuitPython code editor is now linked from... Oh, yeah. CircuitPython.org. Try it. It's Ooh. now like out of beta. Boop, 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 beep, bop, bop, beep, bop, bop. Um, works with Wi Fi, Bluetooth, or serial. Um, doesn't quite work with MicroPython boards and serial yet. We're working on it. We, we will make it work. Um, Repo monitor, uh, file management. So it's great when you have boards that don't have USB or if you want to wirelessly control them. Um, we have a very basic code editor. It's not. Visual Studio, but it's pretty good. I also like this Droid script, um, which lets you code oh, yeah. um, MicroPython from um, Android because Android lets you have access to the serial yeah. port. And we were actually talking to somebody yeah, about, about they're like, oh, we want to have a microcontroller device that's configurable um, via Android or iOS. And we said mass storage is the way to go because it's like the yeah, only thing right you can, text can do. Okay, what else um, and then, yeah, scroll down, scroll down. Oh, the hardware, 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 hardware. Yeah, I'll talk about this soon. Um, this is cool. CircuitPython businesses. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, oh, MicroPython's on the um, flipper. MicroPython on the flipper. It's really minimal, though. I loved it's like It barely kind of sort of fits. Oh, you know, someone said uh, the Python on hardware newsletter is the only newsletter they, lead, they read. Because it actually has stuff for them. It so actually they, has stuff. Yeah, it's they're not, like they had a flipper, and they're like, "This is the only place I thought it." It's saw not it. nonsense. Okay, and then um, keep going because there were some cool books. Okay. Um, oh yeah. RP twenty forty with PyCAD, and um, I like this. A press has a book by Charles Bell, who's I think we yeah. know him. Um, MicroPython for IoT, which is I think exactly right. Like. You know, I think MicroPython and CircuitPython and like Python hardware has always been interesting, but when you're doing IoT stuff, it shines because IoT stuff is so hard to do right with C or C++, but it's incredibly easy to do with MicroPython and CircuitPython. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I really like that there's a notebook specifically on MicroPython IoT, especially because ESP32 has such great support. Okay. Anyways. And then, um, you know, I took some screenshots. You already talked about this. Code editor's there. For folks who are asking for something besides me, blah, 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 um, it's there. And then a couple of questions came up. Let's turn the question section. Someone want to know what MQT broker is. We'll talk about that. But anyways, okay. get this delivered every single week. Adafruitdaily.com. Okay.